Alright guys, as always I'm Sergeant Alpha and since uh, the last couple days I've had multiple people come up to me and ask me uh, how to change their sirens for 5M from the stock GTA to a different siren that they want. I figured I'd go ahead and push out this quick video and yeah, start that I have a problem with helping you guys one-on-one. -on -one. It's just with everything going on right now with the group I'm in in 5M. I'm in uh, real life and everything. I'm starting to get really busy. So in the future, I will probably point you guys to this video. And, you know, if you guys still have questions, feel free to message me, comment something, and I'll try to get back with you. But if I don't get back to you right away, keep in mind that's what's going on. Um, but so basically what you want to do if when you're ready to change out your 5 in sirens is you're going to look up a website that uh, has your sirens. I'm just going to use uh, this one right here. And uh, I'll try to have this link right here in the description as well. So once you find your website, you know, this has all kinds of uh, different sirens that you can uh, download as a little preview form for what they sound like. So you can decide which one you like the best. And uh, there are there are other websites. It's just this was the first one I searched and found uh, when I got mine. And, uh, I use the Mastercom B right now. So in my game and in my videos I've been releasing recently, uh, that's why my starting sounds like that instead of the stock GTA. Uh, so what you're going to want to do, crap. Once we fix what I just broke here. Uh, there we go. What you're going to do, find MasterCon logo, is you're going to come over here to download. And it'll show you uh, what you have in the file. Uh, this one has Rumbler songs and the regular MasterCon B. Uh, this is not what all you need to do. You're going to have to come over here and hit download again. And this will pop up. It'll say can scan files, viruses, uh, too large for Google scan, etc. Uh, click download anyway. And once you download, uh, click download anyway, you'll start your download down here. That's how long you have. I've already downloaded it. So I'm just going to skip this part here. Uh, once you have it downloaded in your download folder, it should pop up and if you're using this one, it should pop up as, where are you? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna do it. Anyway, it'll be in your download folder and it will be uh, code three, MeshCon B, sorry. So what you're gonna do is you're going to use WinZip, OneRoar, whatever you got and uh, unzip it to wherever you want to unzip it to. And once you unzip it, you will have this one. And here you have code three of your resident and the resident for the rumbler. So now this next step is very important. You're going to have to do this just in case something goes wrong. If you don't do this next step here, you break your game and nothing works for you. Do not blame Sergeant Alpha because Sergeant Alpha told you to make a backup here. So you're going to go to whichever file that you use for print, uh, for 5M. Me personally, I use four different GTA folders. I have the stock GTA folder that doesn't have any kind of mods in it. It's just as you downloaded from scene. Nothing else in there. I have a folder that I use for 5M. I have a folder that I use for LSPDFR. And I have a second backup folder for LSPDFR. That way, if I mess up anything in LSPDFR and I can't get to work again, I can go to that backup LSPDFR and get my stuff up and running again. I'm not saying that you need that many folders for Grand Theft Auto, especially if you have a smaller hard drive or you don't have an external hard drive, because it does take up a lot of space. But, you know, I'm just saying, whichever folder is used for 5M, you're going to go to that. 
So for me, I use this one. And once you get to that folder, you're going to go to X64, Audio, SFX. You're going to come down to Resident, and this right here, before you do anything else, you're going to copy it, and you're going to paste it somewhere where you can find it later. Yeah, you can post, paste it on your desktop, you can paste it in a special folder, wherever you want to put it. But no matter what you do, you need to have a backup of this file right here, before you do anything else. And I'm saying this over and over again on purpose because I want that beat into your head. Uh, because if you break it, it's going to be really hard to fix. Because you're going to, especially if you don't have another Grand Theft Auto folder, because you're going to pretty much verify all your files and do everything all over again. But once you have this backup uh, file saved, you're going to go back into your downloaded Siren, whichever one you're using. And you're going to grab that resident RPF and you're going to drag it and drop it. And it's pretty much copy paste. And again, I've already done this, so I'm not going to do that, but it'll ask you if you want to overwrite. Go ahead and click yes, if you want to overwrite it. And that will turn this resident RPF into this one. And once that's done, that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, once you load up 5M, you will have your new sirens. And uh, like I said, uh, that should be it. If you have any more issues, uh, drop a comment. If you're in Discord with me, uh, send me a DM. I'll try to get back to you and help you sort it out. And if it's something that I'm not sure what's causing, I'll tell you. If not, I'll try to help you out and fix it. But uh, that's all I'm gonna have for this video, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to push that out. Now, just in case I get too busy to show any of you what to do. I uh, hope this helps all you guys out. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.